Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to swatch out all the colors from Daniel Smith that use the pigment PR101. PR101 is a very common pigment used by many colors. Here I have Venetian Red. This is Luna Red Rock. This is also PR101. Transparent Red Oxide, PR101 as well. These are the eight colors from Daniel Smith that uses PR101. And the reason why you can get so many different colors from one single pigment is due to how the pigment is treated at the factory where it's made. So the pigments will be heated to a certain temperature and that temperature will determine the color. That's why you have colors like raw sienna and burnt sienna, raw umber and burnt umber. So all these are heated at different temperatures to produce different colors. So let's swatch out the colors. PR101 seems like a pretty versatile pigment since it can be made into so many different colors. So this is Venetian Red. This is a very opaque color. Next we have Italian Venetian Red. Let me put this beside Venetian Red to let you see the difference. Oops, too much uh, paint on the brush. So this seems like the more um, diluted version of Venetian Red. Or maybe it's because there is a lot of binder in my tube here. And next we have Indian Red. So this color is very opaque as well. It's more reddish compared to Venetian Red. And this is Lunar Red Rock. It looks quite similar to Indian Red on the left. This seems to be quite opaque as well. English red ochre. This tube seems like it has too much binder as well. So this looks a bit like raw, sorry, burnt umber. I'll compare this with burnt umber later on. English red earth. This looks like Venetian red. Next we have transparent red oxide, which is one of my favorite colors because of the beautiful granulation. This color actually looks kind of similar to Winston Newton's Burnt Sienna, which also uses PR. 101 and lastly we have transparent brown oxide now this color together with transparent red oxide they are very transparent so these are very suitable colors to use with pen and ink so these are how the swatches look when they are dry interestingly some colors are opaque and some are not so the most opaque colors among this eight would be venetian red Indian Red, Lunar Red Rock. These five look like they are kind of transparent. According to Daniel Smith, English Red Rock should be opaque as well. So I may have added too much water or maybe there is too much binder in this uh, tube of mine. The granulation with Italian Venetian Red looks more obvious. Indian Red and Lunar Red Rock are very similar. If there weren't any labels on them, I will not be able to tell them apart. And these are very opaque. I may have mentioned earlier that Indian red looks more reddish compared to Venetian red, but now that it's dry, this actually looks more muted and Venetian red, this is definitely more reddish among the bunch of colors here. 
English red ochre and English red earth. So earlier on I mentioned this looks like burnt umber. So let's compare them side by side and they look different. Burnt umber is much darker. Now the granulation for English red ochre is quite obvious on this paper. This paper is Dela Rowney Aquafine and here this paper is Fabriano Artistico. So you can see the granulation they look different on different paper. English red earth looks like a more reddish or warmer version of Italian Venetian red. So these two colors may actually look more similar compared to these two colors. These two colors, transparent red oxide and transparent brown oxide, they are fantastic for mixing with blues to produce really beautiful granulating grays. The opaque colors here are best used on their own. If you mix them with other colors that are transparent, these opaque colors will make the mix more muddy. And these are not very vibrant colors, so it will dull the mixture very quickly. Okay, let's uh, try and mix some um, grays with the transparent colors. So let's mix ultramarine with English red ochre. If you have been using ultramarine with burnt sienna for mixing grays, well, this mix here with English red ochre looks kind of similar. This is a very beautiful gray as well. Next, let's have ultramarine and Italian Venetian red. So let me put a bit of the paint here. Oh, notice how the Venetian red, how it pushes ultramarine back maybe we need more of this definitely too much binder and this um, tube or the binder wasn't mixed completely with the pigment Italian Venetian red is more reddish so here we have a hint of violet in the grey and this is ultramarine with transparent red oxide oh see how the color pushes into ultramarine and lastly transparent brown oxide and ultramarine i'm not sure if you can see the physical particles in ultramarine I think my, my ultramarine may have been a bit contaminated. That's because I'm using the ultramarine from the watercolor stick. So these are the various mixes with ultramarine, English red ochre, Italian Venetian red, transparent red oxide and transparent brown oxide. If you want to get a lighter value, you can use cerulean blue or cerulean blue chromium instead of ultramarine. I really like this neutralized color with English red ochre. This is with transparent red oxide, so you can see the red oxide quite obviously. And this is transparent brown oxide somewhat like burnt umber now the granulation here it's not as obvious compared to here because i may have painted on the wrong side of the watercolor paper so this side it's smoother compared to the opposite side looking at the mixes here i would say that if you want to try a color that's different from burnt sienna pbr7 you can consider english red ochre if you want something more exciting transparent red oxide if you want to mix a really dark value consider transparent brown oxide are you using any of these colors let me know in the comment section below on what you think about them oh before you go i just want to let you know that i am selling off some excess watercolor paint to make space to get more colors to test and also to make more videos like this so if you want to check out the colors that i'm selling just visit the link in the video description below all right thanks for watching see you in the next video bye